What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be how to stream and record your PS3 video. Now this was an old video I uploaded that did pretty well and I wanted to re-upload it just in case anybody else wanted to learn and wanted to watch and figure out how to stream and record the PS3 video. Now before I go into deep you're going to need a few things, a few pieces of technology to get this done. The problem is, is because there's an HDCP video block that the PlayStation 3 puts out and you have to bypass that. So first piece of tech that you're going to need is some kind of HDMI splitter. All right, there we go. Now, what this does is it takes the PS3 video out and it splits it into two. Now you're not going to need both of these, but you're going to utilize one of them. One of them is going to then go into your capture card that you are going to have hooked up to your PC. Now, the capture card that I use is an Elgato HD60 or the HD60+. Plus. My HD60 Plus is hooked up to the PC right now, but I do have my old one that I can show you guys. This is the old capture card that I use, the HD60, and I use this for a lot of my older systems, pretty much anything pre-PS4 and Xbox One. I use the HD60 for those. There's a lot of different settings you can play around with in this one, and it seems to be much easier to use. So you're going to need this, you're going to need a capture card, and you are going to need an HDMI splitter. Now, I will have the link for this in the description below where you can buy it on Amazon and you can get it without having to buy it on eBay or anything like that. I believe they're about 15 bucks and they're worth every penny if you have a collection of PS3 games that you like to stream and play. So as far as the tech goes, that's all you're going to need. You are going to need to know a small amount of how to use OBS. I personally use OBS to stream and record. I use it to stream to YouTube. If I'm going to stream to Twitch, which I do have a Twitch, I usually do it from the system, the PS4 or the PS5. But I use OBS to record my videos and to stream the videos. So you're going to need a small amount of know-how with the OBS, which I'm not going to touch with this video, I will touch on that in a different video. I'll probably make a small tutorial on how to do that as well. I'll probably link that in the description below too, so you can check that one out when it comes out. Without further ado, let's get into recording and streaming your PS3 games. All right, so now you guys can see that I have my Elgato capturing the PS3 video. It's also capturing the audio, which isn't doing a whole lot right now, which, yeah, see, you can hear the little ping going on. Let me first go over on how the splitter, the HDMIs, the PS3, and how you have it all hooked up. So what you want to do first is you want to have your PS3 going to the splitter first. Then you're going to want one HDMI cord going from the splitter to the Elgato video capture. And then from the video capture, you're going to want to go into the PC and then to your TV. So... You're going to want to play around with a few things. Let's get into some of the options you're going to want to play around with. First things first, let's get into the settings. You're going to want to make sure you're getting 1080p or 720, depending on what your monitor look, how your monitor works and stuff like that. But 1080p 30 runs perfect. It picks everything up, no problems there. Um, in the actual PlayStation... As, as far as that goes, this picks it up pretty well, and then you got to go over to your OBS, and you got to mess with a few things in OBS. Nothing major, but if you know how to use OBS, you should be okay. Let's get deeper into the PlayStation 3. Now, you're going to go your audio settings, and you're going to want to change a few things in there. Normally, when you fire up your PlayStation 3 and you have it just standard going from your PlayStation 3 to your TV, you'll probably have the Dolby Digital 5.1 channel turned on. You're going to want to turn that off. Then you're going to want to go through each one of these. Probably you could probably skip DTS 5.1 channel. And you're going to want to go through each one of these and find the one that works best for you. These these two, the Linear 2 channel, the 48 and 44. 4.1 seemed to work pretty good. Everything seemed to come through pretty crispy, and uh, and that's that worked pretty well for me. So, 
All right, so as you guys can see, I have Demon Souls going in the background. You guys can kind of get the uh, get the idea of how the sound and the video works. It all it's all very very smooth. Let me go ahead and move the character here a little bit. It's not choppy at all. It's very smooth. And Elgato records it great. The LBS seems to record it great, and streams it great. And there should be no problem. And again, guys, you are going to need to have the HDMI splitter the Elgato game capture or some kind of other game capture going into the PC recording and capturing the gameplay from the PS3. Now if everything goes smoothly you shouldn't have too many hiccups and you shouldn't have too many problems trying to figure out the different settings and how to get this all going. This was the easiest way I found how to get it to work. It works really really well. I, I haven't really found any other easier ways to get PS3 game audio and video so I hope this helps and I hope this this works for you guys and and if it does help and it does work for you guys don't feel bad hitting that like button and hitting the subscribe i appreciate you guys all watching the video i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out